The mics are blood clot open. Check, check, check. Select accent for the podcast. <laughs> Calvin, Calvin always late. Welcome back to the mics are open. This is episode 253. My name is Ashley. My name is G Money. And Young. I mean, I need to see. I need to fix I was actually listening to sure? you. Are you sure? Listen, mm. I, 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 you could be me today. Can Big C. Andy, can Andy say his name? Okay. Andy Young. Mm. Big C. Mm. Listen, I am on battery low, so I'm going to crack one joke, at the, uh, one joke at the start, and then you guys put me on the bench. Hey, Kwanza, your, 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 okay, maybe your bench or your chair was there. Eh? I got, got the one. I got, I got, I got the one. Your job, your job, I got your job was one. on the line. I got We're the here one. to work. So anyway, yo, mm. how do non-binary people kill people? <laughs> I don't even they know. Them. Huh? How? They slash them. I see you. They slash them. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wow. Wow. Okay, okay. I see what you're wow. saying. Wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Is that it? Actually, you're the... not laughing today. <laughs> wow, wow. I mean, it's not wow, like wow, hilarious. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's not Shout bad. out to Abdi. Abdi was like, yo, that's a really good joke. You should wow. drop it. All right. Because I watched it, it and I was like, they, sl-. like, I watched it. I was like, huh, what's going on? Then I was like, yeah. Tell me, tell me, um, tell me how, why you're so tired. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you, like you, you even couldn't even bother to move back to your regular chair. That's how tired you are. How, how was your weekend? My weekend was, uh, I feel like I was 25 again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, I have, uh, I have really had quite the weekend. So what happened? Let's I, well, okay, what happened is this. Uh, Thursday... Um, a couple of guys were like, yo, let's link up. Mm-hmm. So we linked up. Debauchery started. Uh-huh. I ended up in Sanford. Uh-huh. Town. In town. town. Down. I yeah. woke up in the morning and I was like, chicken. Uh-huh. I ate that. Still slaps. Still slaps. Love. Then on Friday, I was like, it's a good Friday. He has reason. <laughs> no, actually, he hasn't. Oh, no, he hadn't. You know, like, I actually wanted to tweet that. Then I was told, bro, you might be cancelled. Do you know, do you remember when you read the Bible? It was a Maybe good I Friday. This, I don't know. You're, 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 you're. I went to school to sorry, read the Bible. Sorry, sorry, Yeah. But you know, like, in the Bible, how it says, it. Jerusalem went dark. Uh-huh. Like, I was like, bro, we need to drink before my guy dies. Like, you know, I almost tweeted that and I was like, yo, it's three o'clock globally. So does that mean JC is knocked out? Wow. Okay. <laughs> then guys were like, don't do it. So I was like, yeah. Yo. So it was a good Friday. So I, so I, so I, I had a drink. A couple of guys were at my house. 7 p.m. I told guys, yo, get out. Let 7 a.m. or 7 p.m.? 7 p.m. Okay. So that's 7 p.m. Uh, 7 p.m. Friday. Uh-huh. Right. So then Saturday I woke up. I was like, concert day. Fantastic. Let's do this. Mm. Then I got derailed at 2 p.m. On Saturday. To have some sausages. Oh. Like, you know, really nice. You guys, I encourage you guys to try German sausages. Mm. Oh, I know at what you're Gekko. talking about. Top, top. Very good. Mm. Top. Right. Very okay. good. Like, so cheesy good. sausages. So you dice them up, you know, quite mm. the mouthful. Leave it on the menu. Um, yeah, then I went to the concert. And then I didn't watch the video perform. You didn't? You went home? Yeah. You were, you were out of it? No, I was just like, you know how, like, since, you know, we're BMW people, right? When the check engine light comes on, <laughs> you got to obey the check engine light. So like, you don't want to wanna get to a point where you're on a flatbed. So your personal check engine light came on. My check engine light was just like, ding, ding. Wow. I was just like, nope. There's a lot to, there's a lot to um, I mean, from, I, I wasn't around, I didn't go to the show, but I feel like the video did a lot. In yeah, his, yeah, yeah, yeah. 24 hours here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I mean, Easy. the biggest winner has to be Ombachi. Oh, yeah, for yep. sure. Yeah. Easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, so Dennis was at my house, like, just before um, before the concert, right? Mm. And then he was like, oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook for Davido. So, you know me, I'm just like, oh, yeah, you're going to go meet him in the hotel, blah, blah. Mm. Kumbe, 
The, the man goes to his house. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what's more interesting was the was the people that were in the house. Mm. Yanya was there, mm. was in the house as well. Yeah. Mm. And there was a couple Kenyan um famous people there too. And um I was just like, wow, all these people in your house. <laughs> like, yeah. like, that's a, that would give me PTSD, but PTSD? Yeah. That's quite the story you have to tell everyone. It's, bro. it's it's a dope story. Like, do you know how many artists, how many famous people were in that room on that particular? I cooked for David. Pulled up, bro. pulled up to my house to taste my, my bro. food. But you know, for me, nah, that's the, a big story. Uh, but yeah. you know, you you wouldn't have even been invited. Oh, oh, okay, DST. But he yeah. doesn't need more. But <laughs> you don't need more to run. from because like some of the people who were in the house are not particularly people that I'd want in the house. They were just like hangers on and stuff. But it's a one time thing. Yeah, but you, you wouldn't allow it. I don't know, man. I don't know. Like I, if Cranium I, pulled up and came with a kakru and then there's some niggas you don't know over there. That, that's why we have that spacious place on the roof. <laughs> where you can, you can have meetings. <laughs> oh, by the way, yeah. yeah. Ah. That place on the roof yeah, where you yeah, go yeah, yeah. upstairs and be like, yeah, it's wow. just chill, isn't it? But I have, I have a proposal. I have a suggestion. Mm. Because I don't know about you. Maybe you can tell us in the comment section, but I would give good money to sit at a table when Calvin is on a date with a babe to hear the conversations that go on over there. I'd pay good money. I That's, agree. So I think we can <laughs> generate that content for because I'm sure people would be curious and interested to hear what what does Calvin talk about when he's on a date with babes. I because, wonder. Hmm? If, do you drop jokes like you drop on the mic? <laughs> I have an. Does open, it work? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a thought, though. Mm. No, really. I'm, I'm like. Yeah, that story he gave us, bro. Mm. Which one? Like the stories he's giving us, even live alone on this podcast, or rather this In episode. Life. But generally, generally <laughs> mm. like you don't know the next thing he's gonna say. I'm yeah. sure the ladies like that. A bit of mystery. Un, un, but when this un- mystery is going. Mm. You guys, you guys give that. too much pressure in life. Honestly, there's no script. I'm just like, yo. You're a natural. It's not a natural. <laughs> I, f- I feel like, you know, you just, Take you just, flowers, you just, bro. not really. I, 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 I don't think, bro, I'm the one person on this here podcast who told you guys that I was once taught by my cousin how to hug a woman. Like when we were. Yeah, I remember you saying that. Yeah, man. like he'd be like, you hold me like this. Like, like, <laughs> hold me. Hold me. Hold me like this. I remember that. Shout out to I remember it that. was so interesting. Like, you know, you gotta learn these things. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember man. that episode. Yeah. Just hold me. <laughs> Bro, From that, I have yeah. a very, I have a very serious question for each and every one of you. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Did you guys learn how to like talk to a babe and hug a babe and maybe like hold hands from like your older cousins or uncle, uncle Donovan? Or yeah. Really? Yeah. Uncle Donovan gave me the script. Yo, yo, Conrad, that girl across the road, you like you know? I did your photo. Yeah, he schooled me, boy. Really? Schooled me. And like, he was like, when I was growing up, like, he was, because I wouldn't say he was like an older brother to me, because Donovan yeah. is like just maybe four or five years older than me. Mm. Mm. But I used to look up to him because he had girl. <laughs> he was experienced. Yeah, well, Don- Donovan, and like, you know, in those days, like, how many just, kids? Don't say that, man. He's got, he, we know he's got a lot of kids, right? <laughs> but only 10. But like it's just like it's just like um, small small ten small small ten, and they've all turned out amazing. That's which is great. which is beautiful, you know, which is God's blessing. Um, a couple of them, I think three or four of them have been to Kenya, but you know, to visit. Um, what was that the last one was his kid as well, Kieran. Damn man, you know. Like, but anyway, so none of them. So like obviously, and it reminded days, me like you know, uh, you know like anyway. So it's like, <laughs> you've just stopped my story. No. <laughs> but let me no, go on. It's because I go thought on. I was just about to snitch on, on ourselves. So obviously, so like I said, like he was my older bro, like my older bro, and he had a job. Mm. So like that guy used to, you know, in Jamaica, like it's like Kenya, you have, you'd have your dope fundi. That guy used to have the dopest fundi. So you see, when he's stepping out, yo, everything is just on point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, he was my, um, my, my idol and my educator and everything. I he taught you that. how to talk to women, mm. like what to say to them. Yeah, and he was like, "Listen, if you don't have, don't if you don't have the, the the sweet mouth, they say in Jamaica, you don't have that that sweet mouth. Who's just go direct, mm. box to box. Don't mess. Don't do not. You know, if you don't have, you know, some men have got that gift of the gab, right? Some mm. men have got that 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 you know that gift of the gab. Mm. Some men is just direct." The and for me, wins. for me, I had the accent. <laughs> yeah. And I was, I had no game. I was just like the direct. Straight to the point. Direct. And he, he said, he, he, he said to me once, he goes, listen, 
go and tell that chick that you don't have any game. And all of your friends are going to come and spit game, but you, you're just coming direct, man. Mm -hmm. aren't you? Let me tell you. Game is game. Game is <laughs> game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let me tell you. That could Donovan. work, actually. Donovan, what about bro. you? Did you ever have... Damn, you know, I'm hearing these stories and I'm like, by the way, like, no one really told me this is what you say. This is um maybe a couple of examples from some close friends, but things I differed with because I didn't feel like they would work for me because mm. I'm mm. not them. They're different, so that's why it works for them. So I think for me, I've always relied on humor mm. to talk to the ladies and you know you just cast the net when you start <laughs> kicking it's over game over yeah, yeah, yeah. so mm. i think funny huh sorry you asked if i'm funny <laughs> no he says he said let him finish man you're, you're, just in the, you're, you're like you're in the middle no, it was it was in my head like i'm sorry I yeah we can it. talk about it bro uh, what do you yeah, mean? no like you know I'd, now that you've actually said hey um you just you know, cast the net. Vibes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and vibes. Yeah. Like, I'd actually, next time you're going on a date, bro, bro just... No, you let's well do let's wire. Date, guys. Let's no, you wire you up. That, you yeah. know, like that show where they wire guys up? Mm, might as well do a double date at this point. Uh, you, be, yours is, we need to put yours behind a paywall, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but by the way, I hate dates, by the way. Like, I hate yeah. them. I think that, I think that, like, I feel like going out to eat... Mm. Is not necessarily a date. Let's go grab some food, have a conversation. I feel when you say let's go on a date, it's like, yeah. Like what? a date date. And I, I agree yeah. with you. Like, I feel like going out to eat is just going out to eat. So but a date date is like, so it's intentional. planned. You've made like, you're like, dress up. This is where we're going. This is what time I'm picking you up. This, you know, there's like a whole itinerary. That's like mm. a date date. It's not like, let's go for breakfast or let's go for lunch. So why, why, why do you hate them? I just feel like, that, like, like I guess it's, <laughs> no, it's not even pressure. I just feel like, like, for me, and I guess being the, the way my brain works is that, like, I really enjoy conversation over food. You get me? So, did, so if it's going to be a case of, like, there's an additional pressure of, oh, I'm gonna, like you said, I'm going to do this and oh, allow that. We're going to eat. You want to call it a date? It's a date. <laughs> if you don't want to call it a date, it's not a date. We're just going to have vibes. Funny enough, on dates, I never have an appetite. Because you know you're, you're paid. Because hmm? you, know, you know you're paid. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> What's that vibe? I, 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 One of us go eat. I, I don't think, I don't think um, that's the problem. I don't know, for some reason. But I can think about a couple of dates I've been on I've eaten well. Yeah, mm. but generally, that, generally, what do I eat for this? I'm not, I'm not a sweet tooth. This is a sweet tooth over here. I really am not. I'm, I'm just like, oh, we go eat. Salty, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. but, you're but, an idiot. But, 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 um, but I feel like, um, just like what Ashley was saying, um, and and I see it with a lot of couples now. You know, date nights they're important. Very very important and all of that but also i feel like dates shouldn't just be classified as just food and all of that there's mm. so many different kind of things yeah in fact yeah. yeah like for me i prefer <coughs> food though but go on for me, for me for me like i i think experiences are very because you see at the end of the day <coughs> what kind of experience are we getting with you know uh filling up your mouth uh. mm. you know what i mean <laughs> Like I, it does I, the if, same I knew, thing. if I'd known it, that this is where this was gonna no, go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Please reverse. What I meant is this. Experience. No, no, no. I'm oh, like, man. I'm like, I'm like, you do it already every single day. But here's the thing. When's the last time you did like quad bikes? You get like you get dressed mm -hmm. up and all of those. Those kind of experiences that are like tough or Yeah, no, and I get that. No, no, that's yeah. that's dope. That's dope. I mean, there's a time when a whole a bunch of us went with um went on a paintball kind of double date type yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. You can just pretty much, I get it. There are different Yo, things. To and, do. and like paintball, bro, you're going to know your date's character. Because if bro. you shoot them, <laughs> oh, no. oh, you will know bro. this one Cook has a temper. This one can cuss you out. You get Shout going out mm. to a good friend of mine. She's done amazing well. She's done amazing work for various big companies. I'm not going to mention your name, but you know, she's done big work at Safaricom and all these uh, places. Uh. Bruh. About what, 13, maybe even 15 years ago, we went paintballing. <laughs> My God, she was peppering guys. One shot, one yeah. kill. Yep. I love one it. Shot, one, one shot, one, shot, one, one kill. It's a lot about <laughs> everyone. You know, like 
how do you perform under pressure? Yeah, Those kind no. of things. When you're under fire and things. Mm. Like, well, did you listen to instructions? Are you blah, tactical? Blah, blah, blah. Are you strategic? Oh, it is like... a lot. Yeah, let me yeah. tell you. For me, honestly, That's like, very dope I, think, mm. I think about like activities. When I really want to get to mm. know people, mm. I fam, you got to know like, because you see at the end of the day, I'm always telling people, especially when guys are wooing people, mm. you don't really, really know them. Everything's so perfect. Guys are saying right, right, correct right. things and all of that. So some of these activities, like you've said, yeah. how are they emotional? What's the bonding like? Are they strategic? Uh, are they a team player? How are they? What, what, what? And you know what's actually brilliant about that? A couple of, I think maybe sometime last year or some, and I was, I, was, uh, I was speaking to Adele, and Adele said, yo, me, I don't really like working with like too many people. Mm. I'm a person who's like, uh, I can do an activity by myself. Like, mm -hmm. For instance, when you check out her podcast, right? She's mm. solo. And she has like different guests and all of yeah, that. Yeah. But you see a lot of people, you, you, you're told uh, by HR, you have to be a team player. Mm. And you've been told everyone. you have to be a team player, but it's not for everyone. Yeah. You so you get, you, you need to understand yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, I think that like, I think that like, especially in Kenya where we have, there are so many, like it's the, things have changed so much in the last decade where now there are so many options for you to actually go there. You can go shoot in shoot in range. Yeah, yeah you know the one you know over I mean? here. Do you yeah. guys want to go by the way? Like huh? nobody asked you. Oh man. What did you do to your <laughs> mind? Happening. The bile. Like, <laughs> we we Austin, can go, we can give you a tiny Austin camp. tried to, to 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 shout at me today so he's getting it. Oh. He's getting it today. He tried patronizing you. Yeah he tried. Oh man. All right guys Thank before we that. move on of course we want to say a massive shout going out to big supporters of the pod and we are talking about of course co-op bank through their year account. Now we've been speaking over the last few weeks about how um it's 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 so important for you to choose the right banking partner but also uh, the Year account has other facilities that all of you digital online hustlers may need to know about. And this is something you might need to take advantage of. Because do you know how much better it looks for you as a business? Let's say, say for example, you're like Dougie, who's uh, our graphic designer who does all of these squeeze backs you see on the screen. Now, when Dougie is managing his money, for example, it's so easy for him to mix up the money if you're sending the money straight to his number. You know, it could be it could be it could be us guys it could be some other guys yeah so the most important thing that you can uh, i realized with a year account as a co-op customer is that you have access to take your business to the next level with a co-op till now this is how simple it is so that you can you so you you you, you ask them you have your graphic design company mm. you have your whatever company you can now have your till number as long as you are a year account holder yeah. and a customer of co-op bank and it's very simple you go into the branch one page form Listen, as soon as you do the first transaction, your till number is activated. Nice. And I think and there's no excuse because I know, for example, like sometimes when we do our events, there are some suppliers who do like um, backgrounds for us, mm -hmm. shagging out to Asego. And Asego is like, hey, Jay, hey, hey, and pass on me. And it's even hard for me to know where this money, because I just see somebody's name and they see when it comes to doing my own stuff, I'm like, oh my God. So, but with the till number, you'll see the business name come up, the name come up. So it's very, very, it's a, um, it's a much more professional way of doing your business. So if you're a young hustler, if you have your year account, take advantage of getting yourself a till number, courtesy of Corp. Very simple, one page form, go into the branch and you are sorted. Simple as that. Love it. Boom. Good stuff. Mm. Yeah. So yeah, so I'm um, speaking about dates. Calvin, you can tell us about the big party you had in your house over the weekend as well. <laughs> the big party. Shagana to Della. I was talking to Della over the weekend. He goes, "Yo, your boy's got like all of Nigeria in his house." <laughs> But they're Nigerians. Mm. Mm. See, because you know your East Africans connect. <laughs> Go on. You, 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 you missed that part of your weekend. Well. Convenient. <laughs> that, that, was, uh, that was, what day was that? That was Friday during the day. Ah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Shout going out to Bath. A couple of uh, Nigerians as well. Really good company. Good, good vibes. It was yeah? good vibes. It's yeah. good vibes. It's you know. Here's the thing, especially when you're up and about, when you go to like Lagos and all of that, it's good to welcome them. When so they that come they can inside, do. it's true. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't want to be in Lagos and you don't want know no one. Mm. Bruh. You get what I mean? Do you know what's wild? I was so I was in Eldoret over the weekend. Yeah. Um. Shout out to the wild card guys. As soon as I walked in, uh, as soon as I, I I got to the hotel, Echo Hotel, mm. uh, which is in Rupa Small, right? I so before I even went into the hotel. 
I said, let me go to the mall to go to Java. It's a morning flight. Let me get some breakfast. Mm. I'd not even put 10 steps into the mall. Some guy comes on and be like, hey, I love the podcast. I love the podcast. Love so I'm like, hey, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. But yeah, cool. No, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate it. He goes, yeah. He's like, yeah, that wild card is dope. No, and then I'm, I'm like, I'm like uh, not, not the mics? <laughs> no, 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 like, no, 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 wild card. Like, uh, and, and That's you know different. What? And he's just going into the wild card. And, like, the craziest thing was, his name was Victor. The craziest thing was, by the time he said, could he have a selfie, he took a selfie. By the time, and if you've been to Elrod, Rupert's Mall is not that big. Mm. By the time I've walked from this side to go to Java to place my order, bam, he's already posted that. Tagged oh, it up on on um on um on um on on, on on Twitter. So shout out his name was Victor, uh, and he's a big fan. I hope that you get to see this, even though it's not the wild card. <laughs> <coughs> I hope you get to see this. You know what I mean? See but El- champions, but LD was funny. Mm. LD, uh, so we went there. Uh, it was an event for a particular brand, and um, we had a good time. And they looked after us. And this, we're out of town. Nobody's driving. Mm. We're drinking responsibly, very responsibly. It's like really good content. <coughs> Yeah, but then the guys who, who whose phone was doing the content, the guy who had come down to do the content got nicked. Got a little bit too happy. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so now imagine. So no, the thing about it is like so the phone got stolen oh, with, with all the content, no. right? So now we're all laughing at him, like, ah, you see, you were sourced, your phone is stolen. Da, 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 da. But Until I realized the next day, wow, all of my deliverables are on his are on that phone. <laughs> oh damn. So yeah, it, Elder, that killed the vibe real quick. Oh no! Ben was on stage, um, uh, and Ben and um, and Cheeky messaged me and said, you know, um, we're gonna perform Kwama Kwama Nayo. Mm. But now the phone got stolen and the vibes were just dead. The sober, the, the, so, yeah. the, the sober, the soberness kicked in like, yeah, go back to the hotel. Damn. But it was packed. Mm. Like what, what? guys love football, man. That's oh no, yeah, for sure. Mm. What a good time in LD, man. Always, always a good time. Do you know what I mean? You're floating today, aren't you? Yeah. What's Are you thinking? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. For you to I'm not floating, guys. I'm actually struggling. First and foremost, my body's not mine. Uh-huh. Number two, mm. uh, I'm not wearing my glasses. With she, <coughs> okay, <laughs> and you're wearing black air forces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So anything can happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you threw something interesting in the group um, today. Yes, actually, um, it concerns relationships and finances. Mm. So actually, this was brought up during the when we're in the office randomly, right? And um, a lot of my work colleagues had very interesting things to say, so I figured I might as well bring it up in this little group right here. Mm. So, saw this TikTok. Actually, it's a reel. And it basically was asking, what would you rather? Have every detail of your finances made public or your love life? Mm. I saw that on Just Ivy's page as well. Shout out to Just Ivy. Mm. Yeah, I, re- I really thought about that. Uh-huh, mm. do tell. See, you discuss. You, it's your topic. You go first. No. <laughs> Hey. You discuss first, then I give you my answer. <laughs> you know, for me, I think that I would have every detail of my finances out there as opposed to relationships. You know why? Yeah. Because I feel like there's more to learn in that way than relationships or whatever. Mm-hmm. Hmm? I've got more content in finances than but, relationships. But I, I think That's your reason? Yeah. <laughs> ah, no, I'm it was, it was, it was nah. a very good, it nah, was I'm a good. very was perfect very PR answer. Was PR. <laughs> very PR answer. That's PR. You know, for nah, me, why I'd, say, why, why I'd say, why I'd say same as him, but it's because, <clears throat> um, can you guys really, uh, what do you call it? Slander me. For, what do you mean? For, for, so here's the thing. I'd be okay with all of my money Story's been Story's out there. been out there, right? Because you can slander me to a point and we can still go and make more money. Okay. You get what I mean, right? Like it's <laughs> one of those things. <laughs> right. Lost, have, lost. Yeah, yeah. You know, one of those things. But relationships, man. I, that, that, and that also involves somebody else as well. Yeah, exactly. But I think the reason I'd say finances as well, because I, I watch a lot of these financial podcasts. Yeah. And like I say, I, I often believe that sometimes the people who go on them, They tell a very lopsided thing of what it is. Fam, let me tell you, unless you're balling out of control and you've you've hit a jackpot, fam, everybody's life financially is peaks and troughs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peaks and troughs. And and what people also don't understand is that the the bigger, so to speak, that people see you are, the bigger those peaks and troughs. Fam, me, I can tell you this. This month, this month, like, when this has been recorded, we ain't been paid yet, right? But I had to pay all my bills this month, yeah? Fam, do you know, by the time my salary comes in, I'm technically broke again. Mm. 
mm. in you, a doubt. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's one of those ones where, like, I feel like there's more for people to gather from that perspective. The other, the relationship side might be more salacious and more fun, but I feel like if it's, if it's a value proposition, you know, end of the day, I think from that. Um, uh, well, for me, I look at it from... Um, Things that can stick around. We, you know, you make a very valid point, right? But the way I know people judge people on this here streets, mm. you like, um, you know how you think that there's a rubber that could erase some things? Mm. Uh, no. Yeah. Yeah. So that can really be quite sticky. Ashley says you. Andy first. I'll go to Andy go. last because Andy said I'm captain. So I'm very interested. I want to give him space <laughs> to cook. Okay. So um, when this was asked, actually, I was just like relationships. Then afterwards, I was just like. And I actually picked relationship because I was just like, fuck it, my majority of my relationship shit is out there anyway. Mm. So might as well just have it out there anyway. Then I thought about it and I was just like, um, as you said, like the other people's lives that are involved, there's that. Mm. Also, like finances, as you said, finances is a great way of learning. Also, I'm a very, I'm a terrible spender. I'm, I'm a, actually, I'm a great spender <laughs> mm. and I'm a great earner as well. So I wouldn't mind that. And either mm. way, like it, it, as you said, it's a high, it's a high and low, high and low. Mm. I don't think I'd really care if my finances will be out there, but my relationships, on the other hand, mm. you know, you have I'm, to eat them. I in, get it. In bits, because in touch, <laughs> Andy, I want you to think about the details of your last relationship, bro. Think about the very intimate details uh -huh. of your last relationship. Like, not even your homies know this, because if they find out. It's over for you. Mm -hmm. Think about those details, bro. Uh -huh. Even more reason not for them to be on road. Before you go on, there's someone who actually said the main reason they wouldn't tell about, they wouldn't let their relationships um, be in public is because everybody will judge them and be like, you're such a smart little lady. How the hell are you Did dealing you? with <laughs> Wow. Now, crazy people that? like now this. Now you have to pick a side. Are you always being tell me, like this? Uh, <laughs> now your bum is eating from sitting on the fence. Where mm. are you? Because I call cap on your reasoning for you picking finances over the relationship because I feel like deep down, no one would want the very intimate details of the relationship to be known by anyone else Facts. other than... Facts. But know. also, in terms of the financial side of things, it's like, mm. I feel that like there's just more happening there. It's not my life. Well, is like... No, because I feel like because you have a lot going on over there. Because mm. someone like me, I don't care, bro. You will mm. see my salary over there. That's all you're going to see. And me spending money. That's all you're going to see, bro. You don't know where the money is going. Bruh. You don't know where the money is I coming wish from. That, I it's wish just that, money. I wish that for me, I mean, I wish that life was that simple because I... Even for all of the stuff that we're doing here, I, I have to be on that big picture thinking of where this thing is going. So I feel like there's a lot more to, to there's a, fam, what am I going to say, what am I going to, in relationship, I'm going to say to you, um, so I went for a date here, this might have happened, that might, like, no, it's No, that's not a relationship, bro. But you a relationship is pillow talk between bro. you and your shorty yeah. after you've done the most unspeakable and holiest <laughs> of things. To one I another. you're not getting me. No, I'm getting you. You're not getting me. I feel, you. Getting I, me. I feel, no, I feel like, actually, right? no. guys, guys, no. guys. You, you here's can't the tell thing. me about a date here's, when here's you're talking about no, 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 I'm saying that, 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 that there's no relationship but, there. But Andy, how okay. I look at it is this, right? And 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 I think, guys, let's let's not trivialize this question and not, let, let's not put each other in people's answers. What G's assumption of his relationship being out here can do to him and in financially? Probably can't. Why are you missing it? No, 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 they no, don't no, have, no. They don't no, have anything to no, do No, no, no. Like I'm telling you, fam, yeah. if there's one thing, let's call it what it is. People out here be judging people. Yeah. 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 You get, like, say, for instance, if someone in a particular agency uh, works, like, say, for instance, Ashley, you get, here's drama about this guy. Mm. His bag is probably cancelled because okay, of. I get that. You get. It's and true. it's funny. And then also, also. True. You understand? Also, also speaking about agency, because we, we, we work with agency. Yeah. There are times where there are times not so much now, yeah. But there are times back in the day where, you know, <laughs> okay, you get people are saying. So let so interject before we go on with this line of thinking. Yeah. From the question, I'm assuming that this applies with everyone on the universe, right? Yeah. Or is it just a few individuals? Because if so, then I'm answering this question knowing that it's not just me. Okay, it's everyone. I do think about so it as just you. 
That's or hence why I'm me, saying, yeah. Now still, you can see my money. Is exactly. My so that's your answer. Nada. So, okay, we're so you get, all aligned here. So you get so, zero. So hence Nada. So, no, but I think, I, and also... It was his reasoning though that I No, but I also think, yeah. I also think that like also that uh, in this era of, of overshare, like I was on the way here, mm. I don't know if you guys have watched this, Um, this, this there's, a, there's a clip that went viral of this woman in the UK saying that this guy did some things and he did this. No, you didn't, we didn't date, but you did this to me, blah, 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 some really sexual things, right? Mm. Yeah. And then some other YouTuber got her on, on her, got a woman, or the, she's 18 years old, the young lady on her, on her podcast. And the things this lady was saying about what she does to get money and who she's done it with, and she's like, yeah, I've done this with some rappers. And no, I wouldn't call myself a full-time. And I'm like to myself, wow, we live in an era where really and truly, it is the era of overshare. Yeah. yeah. And it's one of those crazy things when like, when you go into your house, like, I don't know what color your, your, your walls are. Mm. I don't know what your favorite cup is. I don't know where your bed is. I don't know where your TV is. I don't know who comes into your house. I don't know. But... In this era, it's like almost we don't have anything for ourselves. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Okay, okay, f finish and then. And I feel like, yeah. I feel like, like for me, I feel the, the the safest moments and the best moments for me are those moments that like we're all on Instagram. We all share our ups and downs. I try to share my ups and downs on there. If you know me, mm. you can know what I'm feeling some type of way because I try to to balance out the things that I share. But I feel like sometimes for me, like when something is good and it's good for me. I don't want to share it with the world mm. because I feel like, like we live in, uh, in, in a space now where it's so easy to tear down. And I was saying to somebody the other day, like, it's very interesting how social media works globally these days. It's like, we're cheering you because you're the underdog. We want to see you win. Oh, you're winning now. Keep going on. Keep knocking out those guys at the top. Oh, you're getting there. You're getting there. We're rooting. For you. We've been with you from day one. Oh, you're there. We hate oh, you. Yeah. Like, we're going to do everything we're going to do to bring you back down. Oh, you, you feel sweet. <laughs> you, feel, you get me? Yeah. Yeah. And it's a cycle I see. Abel Matua. Bro, I don't know anything about Abel Matua. I've never met the guy, right? So I open up Twitter this week and I see guys laying into mm. Abel. And I'm like, this guy was probably just sleeping. He went to, I think he's on tour in Australia. He's on, he's on Aussie. And, and if you know, if you're in the, in the entertainment industry, so many of our guys are going on tour in Australia. Yeah. Mm. Um, um, Joan Farmer was there. Grouch is there as we speak. Dark Child's been there. I'm sure Chris Darling. So it's, it's, a it's, it's a lucrative belt for our guys right now. Yep, yeah. yep. So I don't know what happened. I'm not, like I said, you know, he's... Or there's he, some drama going on with mm. Abel I don't even know. But on, on socials, the guys are like, oh, he's not as good as... And I'm like, well, bro, I saw why? I, I like, saw basically, I, like, undermining why I, he's, he's gone on tour. Like, there's I saw, no reason for him to be on tour. Yeah. Um, I saw a tweet, right? Like, for me, um, so I wasn't on social media uh, March this week, right? But I saw the t tweets from two people who are, like, on mm. KOT a lot, mm. right? And one was like, what's this guy really ever been good at in terms of what he does? Mm. And then this other person is saying, yo, if you actually take time and understand what this man has done for the industry and everything mm -hmm. and all of that. And I was just like, what? Fam, unlock, unplug again. The, you and, get what I mean? And this is what, this is what I, I, I continually say. And I said, I said it on air and people can say it's arrogant. I don't do anything that I do for anybody mm. but myself. For example, obviously, I go on the radio every single day. If I deliver a good show, so be it. If I deliver a bad show, so be it. But I go to that station because I enjoy it. Yeah. I love what I do. Because the thing about it is, it's like, when you start talking about, oh, I did this for the industry. I didn't do this for the industry. I did it because I enjoyed doing it. Mm. But and, uh, and if it has a benefit and a positive benefit for the industry, so be it. And it's cool. But the thing about it is, it's like, Abel Matua found a way... And all of these content creators, whether it's him or Eve Mongai or or this guy who's doing CTA, um, mm. A Star, A Star, mm. whether it's Ikonini, whether it's any of these guys doing it, you found a way, you found your way in the industry. Mm. So my thing about it is rather than sit down, I'm, I'm, you can't be everybody's cup of coffee, but rather than sit down and say, yo, this is one, it, the cycle, I see the cycle over and over and over again. I'll give you another example. The veto goes to cook for um for, for Dennis that way around. Mm. Dennis goes to cook for the video at his house or the video comes to his house. I saw two tweets that really, really um didn't trigger me, but I thought to myself, wow. One tweet was from somebody saying, Why didn't you <laughs> have a second plate? It looks bad to see you eating oh, from boy, the same I plate as that. a bad <laughs> 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 Bro, so bro. here's the first thing. First of all, 
a Kenyan chef, a Kenyan Af. Yo, if you think about Ombachi, I tell you, I tell you this, you know, and as you guys know, because you know the man, right? If there's ever a story of tri tragedy to triumph, mm. it's Ombachi. Yeah. Mm. Doing what he's done for, for in the Kenyan rugby space, right? Yeah. Getting Kenya to the Olympics, wherever he did, while um, battling his 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 bipolarity, then coming out clear and talking about mental health and the issue, not just on the stage of of on Twitter, oh blah 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 mm -hmm. blah, going as far as CNN and being open enough to discuss his battles with. Um, Depression. Did, did I tell you something? Yeah, you guys don't even know. Dennis and I sat in this house, and the day he wrote that long tweet about mental health, we wrote it together. Mm. Mm. So when you see me and always going at him and taking the piss out of him on social media, it's not because of of um of being. It's because I know him. Yeah. So you see him going all of this way to the pits of having to go into rehab and this and this and coming out and managing to build a beautiful family mm. and take his talent to the world. And you sit in your house and criticize. Yeah. Do you know what somebody else said, which is crazy as well, which I swear, as, if Mbachi was married to a Kenyan woman, he wouldn't get this far. Oh. Oh, and it was a yes. woman who said that. Yeah. Really? Yes. Oh, damn. And I read it and I looked it and I said to myself, you know what? I am not even going into the comments here. But it's just that there's so... Um, Namita said it last week. Is it unnecessary anger or just yeah. anger that's but, just there? But, but here's the thing. Uh, you know, I, I'm glad um, what you mentioned about... Um, what's our guy called? Dennis. Abel. No, 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 no. Before we get to Dennis. Abel. Abel, right? And everybody else that you mentioned, right? Abel, we watched him on Tahiti High. Yeah. Right? I, see, I didn't even know that. He was on Tahiti High mm -hmm. for such a long time. We watched Dennis grow while playing rugby, rugby yeah. in mm -hmm. all of those, right? You've seen all of these different kind of people. I don't see why people are hating. Bro, have you seen the the rate of unemployment in Kenya? Was it published this week, huh? Huh? No, 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 no. Generally. No. Generally. Yeah, it's high. It's high. Mm. The number of people who are out here are trying to grind. You've seen each and every single week, you've seen guys saying, yo, I'm a biochemist. I just need a chance to be able mm. to whatever. You get someone who's doing, oh, he's a plumber because, yo, there's one plumber who's come to me twice mm. in the mall. He's like, yo, but I'm this, I'm trying to get for my exams. So I don't see why people have this hatred towards people crafting their own niche mm. and making their own bag. You get, like mm. if you can't do it and you just want to be whatever, just just do it but also that's that's the the positive mm. way to put it but guys we also need to address just like you said Nyamita said it bro this shit is actually insane and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna do a lot of harm to a lot of people mm. out here because you see and why i say it's gonna do a lot of harm to people out here you have to realize that in society as we are there's a lot of people who don't have backbones mm -hmm. guys who are just coasting they don't even want to have conversations with themselves about mm. who am i what do i stand for so you're bring brought up in a thing where all you see is this hate you don't even know it's like mm. when we have a conversation about tribalism mm. Why are you hating someone from another tribe, yet you've been with them? Mm. You get? So yeah. those are like the conversations, but that is actually sad. Bro, it's mm. gotten to a point where I think about being off of social media and I'm just like, you know what? I don't really I think, care. I think, I think mm. for me and on social media, like especially, um, especially Twitter, is that I have successfully been able to just, you know, I just spend a lot of time on Yeah. Twitter. But Rich, I turned off notifications, I deleted the app, and I have the app on maybe one device which I use. I maybe tweet three or four times a day, if that, um, and then keep it moving. I think, for me, like, I think I would, my advice to anybody out there who's listening today would be, yo, man, reconnect with the real world. Mm. As in, reconnect with the real world. Yesterday, last night, I was feeling down last night. I don't know what was going on. And I haven't, I haven't like beaten it even to this point. I'm still a bit in a melancholy kind of mood. And yesterday, I I left my house about nine o'clock, and I said I'm gonna go for a drive, just to clear my head because I was feeling a bit, you know, a bit low. Anyway, in true G money fashion, I got to the car downstairs and started playing music. I started playing music, and I started listening to some music, and I'm just there vibing. 
The phone rang, and it was a good buddy of mine. Um, the doctor um, stays in in Riverside. I was just talking. I was just talking. I was just talking. I was just talking. We spoke for like almost an hour. And this was the most random, unexpected phone call, blah, 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 blah. And just talk about traveling because we're both like travel guys and this and that and this and that and how's work. And, and, and he's faced a very similar thing to me where he was so um, loving, what, what I say, so connected and so infused about what he does in the medical field, same as I am in the, in the radio field. At some point, we just lost the love for what we do. And by the time that phone call finished, bruh, I went back upstairs, I like, that's the phone call I didn't know that I needed. Mm. Mm. I was sat in the car. I was doom scrolling. I was in my element. But that human conversation about nothing yeah. was what changed my mind or changed my, my mood. I just advise the re guys to reconnect with the real world. Yeah. To go out there and do real things with real people. To go out there and, like we say, have those situations that, you know, it sounds like so cliche. The situations that make you forget about your phone. But yes, <laughs> those situations that make you forget about your phone. When I see Andy out there bowling and he's, you're hooping on a Sunday with your guys. Yeah. That's the shit I'm talking about. When I see you, you've driven up country and you're with your boys chopping up a goat, blah, blah, blah. Well, <laughs> you, see every, you see me every day. <laughs> Ashley's in the bar. No, Ashley's that's not on the, Not this weekend. <laughs> I've been a good girl Not this, this weekend. weekend. This week, you know, my my Snapchat was off, so I only got it back yesterday. So I don't know how your weekend was. I'm a good girl. But hey, nah, this it was lady. We was out with her, boy. It was only one day. <laughs> yeah. We was out. And out. we were out with you. The day we went out was when we came to Pixel. That's the only day I was out. Oh, okay. Pixel was nice though. Pixel was nice. Was I, th nice. I feel like we brought up here. I'm, I'm going to check tonight, it. Okay. You guys, you guys, are you playing there tonight? <laughs> yeah. As in Friday night? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, you enjoyed can, us can there. You guys, have you been there? <laughs> Never. Do you know, by the way, Pixel, you owe us money because every time we talk about Pixel, oh, they, they cut the clips and put it on <laughs> social media. Fact. Fam, you know what? We I've actually time. realized, right? Ooh. Like, yeah. fam, Send you guys money. need to invite me to your gigs, bro. Invite but you don't come. What do you don't come? Invite, no, here's the thing. You invited us. Fam, <laughs> fam, let me tell you. It's you not. Hit, you hit them up. You tell them, hey, what time is your set? Yeah, okay. No, 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 That's no. That's how no. it goes, Bro, Calvin. like, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You know, like, let me explain to you. Sequel buyer. Okay. I came to your gig. Which one? The day when you guys were playing a B and D. That was a oops. It wasn't an oops. It oh, wasn't oh. an oops. Oh, the night me and Zimani were playing a B. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I pulled up. Me, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, but, I saw some dreadlocks. Oh, you saw mommy? Oh, you saw mommy? We, sp we, spoke. <laughs> we spoke. We spoke with this guy, and he was like, "I was like, yeah, I'm coming." Then you know, we had a very interesting conversation. I, I don't remember, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was like, "So I'll show up." I'm showed up. I saw Andy. I must have waved him at him from a distance. Now and did. boom, then I left. Nah, mm. but okay. I waved at you, man. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. But what I'm saying is this, right? Like, I'm not saying, like, technically invite me or something, right? But just be reminding me, fam. Re As remind well. you? <laughs> is it your gig? No! You're coming to play. <laughs> Like you're by the way, <laughs> bro. Like, like it's I'm, your duty as their friend to know oh, where yeah. they're playing. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Mm. I'm terrible. So it's creature of habit. I go to particular mm. bars. Mm. That's the problem. So you know, do you know what I'm talking about? I, I hear you've been saying. there. I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I've been there, but yeah. He's you to no, my no, 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 no. I'm you've not been saying. There. I'm not saying like he's been there physically mm. to the bars where I go, right? But I've gotten a certain comfort of I go to one, two places. You then you, if mm. you don't, bro, if you but don't want to pull up no, over no, no, here, no, no, it's no, no. okay. Andy, Andy, you can pull up where you Andy, pull up. hear yeah. me out. Okay. Hear me out. Mm. When I say it's a comfort zone of saying, mm. hey, because I sit with, like, say, for instance, G. Mm. We usually go to this particular spot. We're okay. used to it, right? Okay. That is normally, that's how it ends up becoming a local. But I'm not talking about right, okay. my, my local like that. Mm. It's another establishment that we go to and all of that. Mm. Maybe I like the meat there. I like this or that. But it's just that occasional, uh, like, I made the effort. I was like, yo, I'd have come to Eldoret had you told me. Ah, No, you wouldn't. You need to I diversify really? your Bro, years. Hey, okay, <laughs> yo, okay, okay. The way, Who's the way, is the way, okay. the way this weekend okay. I was so tomorrow, slippery. Tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to watch rugby in Diani. This weekend? Yeah. Oh, can I come? Oh. 
Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> they did sound As in tomorrow. So that yeah. was like, oh, that's a plan. <laughs> <laughs> I had it from here. You heard <laughs> it too. I'm not being stuck in money. With the side eye. I'm thinking of driving. Oh, no, no, no. As a matter of fact, like, well, I know why I'm driving. Okay. That's on yeah. Friday, right? That's as in, we, as in by the time guys have finished watching this podcast. Oh, and before that, I'm on the road. Are you playing at Milan Thursday night? No. Oh. No, 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 no. Are no, those, so full night. Cool. I'm going to pile them up, so, give you yeah, my yeah, itinerary. No, 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 no. <laughs> so so literally, literally the, my plan is to drive to Mombasa on um, today, Friday. Drive to Mombasa today because I've not done it for a long time. And I told you guys last week, I'm trying to do things that I used to enjoy. I used, mm-hmm. I used to be back and forth from Mombasa on road. You used to drive to Mombasa? Yes. That's oh, no, you went. You no, went. Sumu we went to Kisumu. Yeah, yeah we went to Kisumu. You have to put that bad boy to test, man. Plus, I have to put that bad oh, boy to fact. test. Oh, yeah. fact. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want to kidnap me? Now I sleep like, oh, now I'm definitely pulling up. Cheese. <laughs> uh, that's a plan. Cheese. Eh? So I plan. Here. Here. No, I'm, here. I'm here with you. I plan to drive to um to Mombasa on Friday. Just chill in Mombasa the Friday. Just get a nice a nice hotel. Not Airbnb because you know I don't like Airbnbs. A nice hotel um in Mombasa. And then Saturday morning, wake up, drive over to Diani, watch rugby. Mm. Um, watch rugby. Um, South Coast Pirates are playing against Impala. They're mm. both um, promoted into the Kenya Cup. Congratulations, guys. But um, I have friends on both teams, and I want to I wanna go and see that. And then Sunday, chill out in Diani on Sunday. And then Monday, Monday morning, leaving and drive back. So I'm just hoping that these guys at work don't watch this podcast, because I might be <laughs> sick on Monday. But actually, what about Antonio? <laughs> Yeah, Tonio, hey. No, it's I won't be week. sick. I won't oh, be sick. I'll just, I'll just ask for the That's day off. a flight, man. No, but I'm, I know. I mean, it's a flight as well. No, By the way, I, I take the flights. The flights, yeah. for those of you, the flights are crazy. Yeah. They're crazy. Like, I can't spend that amount of money to fly to Danny. Oh, huh? really? It's crazy at the moment, like, for that weekend. Really? But my thing is, it's a road oh, it's trip. Holiday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're not, it's not like Kube, we're going to be in this car for like seven hours. It's going to be like, we'll stop at Muntitonde, we'll stop yeah. maybe. I might even stop at Savo and sleep at Savo. And then, mm. continue, you know, it's, it's, it's no rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything goes. Yeah. Anything that can be goes. a plan. So that's the plan, man. So, um, you know. Um, I'm awesome. feeling a little loose, you know. Huh? I'm feeling a little loose this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Like Carry I your said, girl. Yeah, we, there's seats in the car, so. <laughs> Say less. You know what I mean? That's the plan. That's my plan anyway. Mm. What's your plan, Calvin? So that we can interface yeah, with your, your plan. Yeah. Maybe yeah. your plan's better than ours. Yeah. So Do we that. stay in Nairobi. Yeah. Man. Let me let me tell you. You could sleep. <laughs> yeah, you need it. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you. Your age is showing. You, you know, you know, here's the thing. After after no. I, I love how I pushed this this bad boy this weekend. Mm. You're that engine. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I feel like I've got youth. No one can tell me anymore. Already. <laughs> Bro, five days. Mm. Hey, five evenings. Straight. Like a rock star. Hey. My, like I'd be telling guys, guys in the office be like, how'd you do it this weekend? I was in Vegas. Hey, but you, <laughs> but you didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> it did you. Bro, <laughs> Vegas. That's, that's what's up, man. Cause, real, cause, uh, yeah, so, but anyway, um, that sounds like a plan, mm. but uh, I don't think I have it in me to be in the car that long. Right. So I have to skip that. Fly but in. I will join you guys. But I think... I, 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 shout going out to Jumbo Jet, celebrating... By, oh, 10 years. 10 years. Mm. Ten years. By the way, ten years. Ten, shout going out to Jumbo Jet. So um, just Did to say let you know, ten years. there's something we're actually pl- planning with the good company with Jumbo Jet. Nice. Well, I think we've spoken about it off the mic. So shout, yeah. we're giving Jumbo Jet a free shout out, a free plug, but there's, uh, there's an idea that we have where we're taking everyone... To Diani and getting a big villa and just shooting content for a whole weekend. Bet. Let's Love do Island, it. Kenyan yes. <laughs> <laughs> and if you see the villa that I'm looking at, it's wild. Love it. Absolutely I wild. Walks into the villa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the bombshell. Bro, I'm telling you, but don't forget, of course, big up the um the the, the our association with with Court Bank, which is really really growing, and big up all of 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 the branches and the staffs and the management and customers of uh, of Court Bank, and especially if you are a year. Account. Of course, yeah, is their youth brand. It's 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 the brand that makes things happen. It doesn't only just gives you a place to put your money, but also gives you access to some of the greatest deals around town. For example, whenever we do an event and you're a year card holder, you get preferential treatment as mm-hmm. well. So shout out to that. But the thing I want to talk about today is for all of my hustlers online, style your game up and get yourself your tier, your till number, all courtesy of Court Bank. Now the thing is, with the year account, it gives you access to having a till number. So if you're a digital creator and you're 
just someone who gets paid online because there are so many people. Stop giving people your phone numbers, man. <laughs> Fact. Mm. Embezzle me, 07. No, 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 no. Start giving them your till number. It helps mm -hmm. your accounting and it also helps their accounting as well. So make sure you, you go into any court branch. It's very simple. It's one simple form. In fact, you can have your till number before you leave the branch. Your first transaction is what actually activates nice. your till number. So make sure you take advantage of that. Even for me, like for my, my DJ bookings and those stuff, man, I've stopped. I don't give people have you have you activated your of course nice. i don't i don't know mine's been activated for a while because me i don't know no people to send me this number let it go Direct let me business mm -hmm. Uber, so that Uber I can... driver texting you saturday evening i miss you <laughs> <laughs> imagine imagine <laughs> do you know what i mean was so, that the mamamboga story yeah, you got it. You're getting texts from Mamamboga. It's it's cool. Have you guys? <laughs> by the way, have you guys ever received a text from somebody who you've embezzled? Yeah, it's the creepiest feeling, right? It is. Yeah. And then the the creepiest thing as well is they know where you live. How? Like if they've dropped you, or oh, like an Uber driver. You, yeah, right, if right, they right. picked you up, or if they've dropped you mm. home, they know where you live. Scary. Yeah. Yeah, you know where to find me. So, get the, so <laughs> yeah, by the get way, here. Pull up. <laughs> so by the way, let me tell you, man. Make sure that you, as you run your businesses, don't mix up your business and your and your personal, and your personal. stuff, man. Get your till number from Corp Bank. It's very simple. Go in oh. there, a form. You'll be out of it by the time you leave the branch. You'll have your till number. Nice. I like that. What, what did you use over there? I he's, I hearing heard, his, he's hearing I, his own thing. I thought I, I, I thought I heard you say get operational. You know, hey, that's an operation. Get oh. get business. <laughs> what I did there. Get on, get, get get business. <laughs> when you meet, I will, come, come back. <laughs> yo, by the way, by the way, someone tell me, the, yo, yo, who is that who tweeted? He tweeted at me and was like, yo, we don't even like you on the episode. Go away, what, what, what. Yeah, I saw that tweet. Effect. I saw that tweet. Have you, guys ever seen, have you seen? Have you ever seen that meme of just like? When that uncle is stressed, <laughs> right? I looked at that guy and I was just like, "No, no." The thing it's is, it's an Easter weekend. The thing is, the thing is, like, um, Yamita brought his A game last week. Oh yeah, and and that's what he does on the Sandwich Podcast. And this is a great opportunity for us to plug yep. the fact you can get your tickets on Takea right now. Something for the baddies. It's yes. all about the baddies. Twentieth, the twentieth of April. The Sandwich Podcast are doing their thing. And of course, we will be there to support them 110%. They're doing it at the Dome. ACK AS Dome. Grounds. A Tickets yeah. are available oh, now. And let me tell you, like... Comment section, Calvin. I <laughs> can give... What? I could give. Uh, did you read the comment section? No, I didn't see. Let me see. What, let me open it. By the way, while you open the comment section, remember the tickets Someone are available. Hold on. I took care for the for the big live show for the sandwich podcast. Now read some of those comments from last week. Let's go. Uh, Let's mm -hmm. go. You know, you've seen them. I was unavailable. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Big, Sorry. Big, C, Big C walked so Yamita could run. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Go off. Let's go. Big C be warned. Pops will be added to the group. Papi. <laughs> Pops cooked from the start to the end. This guy, man, we need Big C to go ahead, to go head to head with Pops. Wow. Uh -huh. hey, Ashley Pio, me. So, Pops might be the roaming chef. Mm. Uh huh. Big C, uh -huh. your seat is at risk. Boys cooking wild. Man. Have you watched the episode? No, nah, bro. I feel oh, it's, I feel, I feel man. it's the on. tear. I feel, I feel it's the I chair. I feel it's the tear. <laughs> Iki tia big C. <laughs> Chef Nyamita. Because the boy is cooking. Hey. Pops is hilarious. Pops cooking. <laughs> this this was so good, Big C should have been here. At least to Masha BQ. <laughs> For me, it's the laugh by Pops. Imagine, just even the just laugh. The the laugh. laugh. <laughs> just the laugh, bro. <laughs> Um, uh, hey, Pops is here too. Let me go on and uh, get some food before sitting down. Like, you can't just watch this episode like that. Gotta you have be to prepared. eat something, man. Uh huh, uh huh. Pops is goated on this episode. Yeah. Let That's me ask good. you, by the way, banter box. And also, we need Pops in the same pod with Calvin. There you go. So, okay, I'm Pops is actually funny. Big C should take notes. Oh. Wow. Oh. That, that, wasn't, that, was, that was actually a comment here. I'll take a screenshot and send. That wasn't me. Andy. Before you start saying, Andy, you're hating on Big C. I see your... By the way, Bantabox. Shout out to Bantabox. You know what? Sometimes I watch Bantabox and I'm like, hey, these young'uns are having like some proper conversation. Let me tell you, they're hilarious. We were never like that. No, they're hilarious. But yeah. you see the age. This, yes. Okay, it's, it's also something I had wanted to say earlier on when you were talking about... Um, oversharing and mm. I wanted to play devil's advocate and ask how many things 
I've noticed you hate on everything new that comes out, G. I do? Yes. Like what? Like even with Urban Tone, they will use a different beat, you will hate on it. <laughs> no. They use a different beat, you say, they always use this one. They use a different beat, they always use this one. Fam, it's like, okay. I, it's I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm making a light. <laughs> no, 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 no. But also, I want to yeah. talk about Urban Tone before we finish. But go on. Let's go. No, let's go. Now, so the thing with Urban Tone is, it's not a case of hating on it, but you know we've been there before. So the thing about it is like, I'd say a decade plus ago, right? Mm. Then maybe even longer. There was a time when all guys were doing was jumping on old reggae one drop mm. rhythms and um and making songs. Yeah. And then in that time, Wiry became one of the first artists to officially get onto a Jamaican rhythm. Mm. So for me, it's a case of like I understand why people do it. Mm. I understand what but I understand what for me, when I hear a particular song and I hear a particular beat, the first thing I'm gonna think about is is A, I know this beat from this place here. B and I know I shouldn't think about that. I should, but I do. It's like okay, is this done through the proper channels? Are guys getting their royalties and stuff? Which I guess is just because I'm a businessman. You know what I'm trying to say? Okay, crazy. Huh? No, no, no. Yeah, but you know, actually speaking about that, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business <laughs> man. Oh, right. oh. But um, but like, but I I'm not hating because some of them like some of them ones like. In the clubs, they go off, and you know, as a DJ, it's, it's what it is, you know. But mm. yeah, but generally, my point was, yeah, like, bro, that that's your your era is fading away, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, these kids have new definitions. They have like, if we use um, uh, what were you talking about? Oversharing. If we use sharing as um, a metric, right. right? It's the same thing with temperature. Your hot is not my hot. Facts. Your call is not my call. So your oversharing is not my oversharing. Mm. Mm. That's why people enjoy TikTok so much because you will think someone is oversharing, but someone is invested in this story. Like, oh, yeah. Right, right, Let me, right. Someone will do a 50 part episode on people TikTok <laughs> and people are going to watch it as a series from mm. start to finish, right? According to you, bro, even me, I look at it like, damn, if it were me, I wouldn't be sharing all that. Right, right, right. But I can't judge that fish by its ability and, to climb that tree. Because a fish swims. <laughs> right. right. And the thing about it is also, I, I mean, mean, I agree with you. Yeah. Because even for me, it's like I've had to realize that where where a lot of uh, like the TikTok generation is and is in terms of what they do. Yeah. I can't relate. And the thing about it is I'm never going to, I'm I'm smart enough to not try mm. and relate. Mm. As in even some things on the radio, when we do stuff on the radio, I'm like, you know, it, you know, like I always use the example, I can't sit and down and talk to you about living in a bed sitter, mm. struggling for tokens. I can't talk about that. Damn, it's I can, say it. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's but, a reality, bro. <laughs> no, no. But it, but, it's but, not relatable to you. This is what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, So I'm the, 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 the kidding, minute yeah. that I go in and I'm like, yo, by the way, man, last night, Stima, Misha, blah, blah, blah. I didn't have no money to go and get no tokens. Yeah. And then KBLC didn't deliver the tokens. Nigga, when I'm buying tokens, I'm buying 10K. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Because I, I don't want to be bothered. That, you know that what I'm person's say? rent now. You, you know, so, so, so I'm saying the point I'm trying to make is that, because I use tokens now. You know, I used to look down on tokens, but I use tokens now. You're welcome. But like I said, I, I just buy it. The like, universe said, okay, I'll show the, the, you. The universe, <laughs> The universe is like the, the new house, you're using tokens. But the thing, the point I make, so I'm never stupid enough to think that, like, I'm not going to be that guy who's going to be like, yo, I understand everything. Because obviously mm. I don't, yeah. you know. But I think still, I still have the right to say, okay, this might be too oh, you much. You a haircut? You know, yeah, yeah, you did. Are you seeing the size? Nice. It's fresh, it's fresh. Yeah. But you see, oh, you, you see back, back on Shout that. out to Dapper Barbers, they're in Kileleshwa. Um, I don't know the name of the road, but... If you go there, a lot of people go there. Frankie goes there, Sanaji mm. goes there, Wasandra goes there. Looking Look for Dave. Dapper. Dave has got the, those lines looking proper. Dapper Barbers, Kileleshwa. I don't know the name of the road, but it's the road that's opposite where, where I live. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. It's pretty dope. Sharp. We're just plugging small businesses today. Mad, yeah. I love You're it. The thing, the, thing is this, the, thing, the thing is this. I've listened to what you said. And I've listened, and I spend a lot of time on TikTok. And I listened to what he said. He's never going to comment about bedsitter living and KPLC and all of that. I've said it before. There's room for everything to exist. And why but, do I say that? Because I particularly see a lot of young guys who will watch drink chops. Mm. Nor is not Gen Z. Nor is not, you get, yeah. there's uh, <coughs> shits and gigs. Mm. Mm. they're not you get mm. but there's room for everybody to exist right there's yep, stuff yep. I, I hear Nori and them say mm. and on, and I'm just like oh shit that's wild 
Mm. Would I say it? I don't think that's what Andy was saying, though. I think Andy acknowledges the, the, yeah, the yeah, 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 space for everyone. Saying, but um, that's but what I'm saying. There's some there's things we just won't understand. And exactly. it's okay. Yeah, which is the truth. It's okay. Which is exactly what it is, bro. Mm. Like, for me, hey, there's a lot. I, 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 mm. and, and this is life. I, I don't know. For me, like, when I look at, like, you say something like TikTok. Do you know what? I won't even lie to you. Like, I used to say to myself, like, how do people get addicted to this nonsense? Same, to be honest. Fam. Hey. But then it's 3, 3 a.m. And I had work at, I had supposed to be A few before. moments later. A few moments <laughs> later. A few, but like, there was a meme I saw the other day where somebody was on TikTok, right? And it was a cartoon meme and the guy puts down the phone. And then the TikTok um, icon jumps up. No. Pick me back up. <laughs> I tell you. Fam. Wait, you, you get me? I get, now that we're on TikTok, the two of you. I love that you're sitting there. Let me grill you. Andy, sorry I haven't been responding to your TikToks lately. But at Not least I'm liking TikToks, them. But it's okay. I well, sent you guys variable, so many variable, TikToks and you guys variable. never... Now it's all good now, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> because you have to you understand. never respond to my TikToks. But, 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 Ashley, let me tell you, right? Wait, so... You are feeling bad for doing what you're doing to but me. But I respond to you, Andy. I respond. No, after no, no. Like, no after I just like asked a couple a of days. It's a question. After a couple of days. It's a question. As long I, as I, I respond. <laughs> but you guys never, they never respond. I can, can, I, can I explain? Yes. Can I explain? <laughs> ever. Let me, ever. Let me tell you. Ever. <laughs> let me tell you. So, yeah. when you, for me, just know I am on TikTok when I remember about the app. <laughs> Like, if somebody sends me something and it's TikTok and it opens TikTok, that's what it says, open in TikTok, yes. Now, if it was IG, I said, like, anybody knows me, that I send reels and reels and reels mm -hmm. and reels. Too. Not Facebook anymore. I don't really go to Facebook no more. Fam. Okay, so I send you things directly to your DM so that, or directly to yeah. your IM so that you can see it yes. on TikTok. If it's on okay. IG, I'll see it. Because I troll guys on IG, by the way. I, <laughs> I, I just think, honestly, <clears throat> I'm really struggling with social media. You just said you're always on TikTok. No, I haven't. I didn't say that. I didn't I, I didn't say actually like you know when he tells you, hey, it's been a while. Say hi to guys. Like if I open TikTok right now, mm. let me see. How do you open this thing? You're doing it in real time. What are we mm. because you're not going to see your TikTok? Mm. No. But you know what? Like, just like, go to like, the point. Like look, but it says I struggle with it. I struggle with Snapchat. You're the only streak I've main, I've maintained. Yay. That's oh wow! And that's it's, it's gotten meat. so good. Like we're so good at the streaking thing. Every time, like I'm slacking, G will be like restore our streaks. But like, you know, you know the right inevitable, now. Ashley. You know, you know what's coming your way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. I'll still send it to him. I feel like you enjoy my streaks, though. No, your streaks are good. This morning she was emotional. I was. I I G was like... out here shouting me out on radio. Hey, this morning was a lot on <laughs> Hey. <laughs> anyway, Shh. listen. This has been the mics are open. My name is G Money. <laughs> Ashley, I I, I think ending the, the, so the podcast. <laughs> Caught you guys unaware? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm good. Big C, <laughs> Andy Young. I thought Calvin was about to drive a point home. Hey, but you know ah, fam. Ah. <laughs> yeah, today, today, he today can, um, he can, um, he can barely even. Do you know? Like, let me tell you. Ah, here we go. Do you know? Oh, just by, the the way, way, by the way, by the way, we almost fam. ended. Wait, fam. Whenever so, oh, fam. whenever so, oh, whenever I got, so. I got, no, 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 no. Before we end the main, fam, I was just to go see Davido. But Damn. My guy made himself available. Me, I was unavailable. Did we wait for that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Peace. See? See? <laughs>